ladies and gentlemen, this is five ball juggling. This is my final trick of the day. up on Fashion News Football Challenge, it's draining and Tony gets bolshy with the gaffer. Now, and I speak for everyone, we say we want to go into the New Year break. You're speaking for everyone, are you? I speak, I speak when for everyone. When did you elect yourself to speak for everyone? You speak for yourself, that's what I want to hear. Fash FC are up for the cup and it's a thriller. Goal! I don't believe it! The squad make their nominations for transfer. To be quite frank, I don't like the guy. And three players will be leaving Fash FC. Ladies, <laughs> nomination results. It's been three months of ups and downs for the lads of Fash FC. After coming together over the summer, the squad have risen from the bottom of the league to possible contenders for the top spot. Last week beating league champions Kings United in a 6-1 And thrashing. you honestly are witnessing something pretty special here. Off the pitch they've become stars in their own right, tasting the perks of the Premiership, attending exclusive parties and mingling with the celebrity Come on, Fash FC. But for the players whose performance has been up to scrap, the penalties have been harsh. But the toughest test for Fash FC is still to come. With the Christmas break looming, Fash has nominated six players for the transfer window. Martin, stand up. Chris. Steve Lacey, stand up. Buzz. Aaron, stand up. Last one. Tom, stand up. Now each player must nominate three of the six to leave the squad, never to return. Okay, this time guys, as I say go, I want to see five knees to chest. For those of you unaware what knees to chest may look like, it's like that. Go. It's Wednesday night training. Tonight is Fash FC's last session together before three of the squad are transferred. But some have more to worry about than others. I'm looking forward to the results on Sunday because, uh, well, I ain't in the six. <laughs> For Bart and his fellow nominees, tonight is the very last chance to prove themselves before voting. And he feels the odds are stacked against him. It's a fucking conspiracy. Can't bloody come out and pick teams and pick formations to play against me like that. Playing both Gaffer and Mace playing hospital balls to me when I'm marked and then blaming me for the goals. Every time I do something that's perfectly good, somebody else gets the uh, credit for it. You can tell where their decisions lie. It's totally unfair. Nominee Chris has only played one match all season. I haven't had a chance to shine if I do go, because I'm nominated in one of the sixes. I ain't had a chance to really do my thing, but that's life, isn't it? You know what I mean, that's football. It's part of the game and uh, Fuck it, I hope everyone goes. Ladies, Sunday's match. Well done last week, lads. Made yourselves proud, made me proud. <laughs> Tremendous, absolutely fantastic. That's over and done with now, let's move on to next Sunday. Chris, in goal, where are you, son? Well done. Chris is back for only his second start of the right season. Back. Aaron, well done, son. Nominee Aaron is given his first start since the season began, but it may also be his last. Tom. Tom is another bench regular to get a rare start. Subs, Jamie S and Buzz. Disgraced skipper Jamie is on the bench as match donkey. Left out, but still will attend. Tony, Steve Lacey and Stuart. Once again, Steve and Tony are stuck in the stands. Well done, lads. Got a question? Yeah. <laughs> you just <laughs> annihilated. <laughs> Boys, just annihilated the league champions. And we've got our last game. Now, and I'll speak for everyone when we say we want to go into the New Year break, still in the cup. 
So how come you've changed the team? You're speaking for everyone, are you? I'm speaking, I'm speaking for myself. When did you elect yourself to speak for everyone? You speak for yourself, that's yeah. what I want so to hear. I say I'm speaking for everyone when we want to win the games. Okay. I'm speaking for myself when I say, how come you're changing the team so dramatically after annihilating, not beating, annihilating the league champions? You don't think Aaron deserves a try? I'm not saying that. I want an explanation. I'm saying the boys on Sunday you are don't fantastic. Think that, you don't think that Tom deserves a try? I'm not saying that. I'm saying Jamie Tom. H deserves I'm a try. I'm saying the 11 on Sunday. Were there are other members of the squad who also deserve a match once in a while. Okay, now there's no point in me putting out my same squad again, my same team again as we had last week because these guys don't get an opportunity. I know, Mace knows, I know what is our first team which I have in my mind. But these guys, if they want to come in there and help to change my mind, I give them the right. They change blooming hard. And who's to say that these boys might be our first squads? Who's to say they not, might, might not be better? Who's to say? That's what, that's what all I want to say. Explanation, so thank you. Good. Good. Okay, ladies, let's go in. Come on, let's go to here. But Tony hasn't had his last Why am I word. Not one of you who will be given the chance. Because I can't get everybody in. Your chance will come. Your chance is Sunday. Might be in January. Right, that's all. That's all I want to know. Right? Okay. Just want some explanations or something. Okay. <laughs> Only one boss, and that's me. From a team point of view, well, I'm not allowed to speak for the team. From a team point of view, oh, I got the same thing. Goes, I just, I just wonder why he's done that. He goes, who ordained you to be? Um, to, to talk I will date me. That's what I that's said. I said who. Aaron ordained himself. Just question why he changed the team. We we annihilated the team. We annihilated them. Don't know about everyone else. I know, no one ordained me to speak for the rest of the lads. But I want to go into this New Year break, having won our last game. I want to go into this break still in the cup. It's a cup game Sunday. Let's win it, whether I'm in a team or not. It's not a personal thing, it's a team thing. I want to win. With training over, the players are now gathered to pick their three to leave the squad. Tonight, as you all know, is nomination night. You must all vote. There's no exceptions. The three who got the most votes will leave Fash FC after Sunday's match. They will not take part in any social events, any matches, or have contact with any of the players of Fash FC. Goodbye is goodbye. Use your votes wisely, lads. There are six players up for nomination. Tom, Aaron, Stephen, Buzz, Martin and Chris. New skipper Warren is the first up to nominate. Our three nominations are Chris, Tom and Lacey. I'm voting for Chris because uh, I don't think he's an actual goalkeeper and I think he'll struggle to get a game at Fash FC. Um, I'm voting for Tom because to me he hasn't shown uh, enough enthusiasm and enough passion to want to play. And, uh, my third pick is uh, is Lacey, which which I don't really want to do, but it's got to be because uh, I think he'll struggle to uh, to get picked to play in the team. The three names I voted for are Tom, Chris, and Buzz. Number one has to be Chris Campbell. Chris Campbell because I don't like him. To be quite frank, I don't like the guy. Um, let's just say he walked out my birthday party without paying his fair share of the bill. And because of that, I lost a lot of respect for him. Number two would have to be Bruz, Andrew Brownsell. Because, let's face facts, I don't think he's going to get a game. And number three, I'd just have to say, I'd have to say Tom. At this stage of the season, I can't see the gaff giving you a chance. I'm nominating Buzz, Tom and Chris. So far, Chris and Tom have four votes each, while Buzz is on three, and Lacey has one. Martin and Aaron have yet to receive a single vote. My three nominations are uh, for uh, Chris, Bath and Aaron. My three names are Buzz, Aaron and Chris. Aaron, because um, he's, he's, he's a good 5 side player, but I don't think he's a good 11 side player. 
he'd been a bit unfortunate when you know his mistake was highlighted, but I don't think he's progressed and you know come back with any chance. He hasn't been given a chance to be fair, but from what I've seen, I don't think he's strong enough to push for a place in the starting eleven. I'm voting for Aaron because he's the 17th best player in the team. I'm voting for Buzz because whilst I like him and whilst he's a fellow Mancunian, uh, he's not challenging for a place in the starting eleven. And I'm voting for Chris because he's the 20th best player in the team. All based on football. None of them are good enough. Seven players have voted. Chris has the most votes with seven. Buzz has six while Tom has four and Aaron has three. Lacey has only one vote while Martin is the only player with none. There are 13 players yet to vote. How can I put this diplomatically? But which three will leave? Aaron, 10 votes. He's gone down close and he's made the opposition don't like that one bit. Confused by all those TV channels? Never know what's really worth watching? Now the Daily Mail has a bigger, better TV magazine to guide you through the viewing maze. Six pages every day, plus our unique programme planner of the best on all channels. No more tiny unreadable listings. Pick up our unbeatable TV guide every Saturday with the Daily Mail. Got the urge for a fiery red-hot chicken royale? Got the urge? Get to Burger King. Live the movie. Be the hero. EA Games. Challenge everything. Action! Hi, I'm from elephant.co.uk and today I'm talking to drivers about their car insurance. So what do you want from your car insurance? Well, I'd like... Oh wait, oh what, the elephant's back again? Oh, what? oh the elephant's directing now! Oh, hey! What about me? I want cheaper car insurance. So there you go. Elephant.co.uk really could save you money on your car insurance. It's easy, it's fast. It's Elephant.co.uk. Grab your mobile. You can sign your Nokia with your own name. Just text the word TAG and your name to the number 8181. So text TAG and your name to 8181. With 500 Anytime Video or Voice Minutes for only £25 a month... Nice shoes. It's all I'm wearing right now. I'll be home in 10 minutes. You can be there, even when you're not. Hello, I'm Dave. Hello, Hello Dave. Dave. I've been clear for the last 12 months. I hardly even thought of playing air guitar. Well done. But today I heard this. 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 You know you have to have it. And this. Air Guitar 3. The last Air Guitar album in the world ever. When migraine threatens, you need to act fast. New Neurofen migraine pain can get to work twice as fast as regular Neurofen. Get it before migraine gets you. Tommy and Tommy Girl, two fragrances from Tommy Hilfiger. SWAT's got SWAT. You're either SWAT or you're not. Jim Carrey I've got the power. has got the power in the number one comedy of the year, Bruce Almighty. And Johnny Depp in the must-own blockbuster DVD. Fire. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Buy them or rent them now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. This kicks ass. He's gone down close and he's made the opposition don't like that one bit.
Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, Jamie is a cheerleading donkey. <laughs> Transfer nominee Tom bunks off. Unless Tom is on his dying deathbed, I would expect to see him here. And more from the boys as they pick their three to leave. He hasn't really been controversial, he hasn't really been funny, he's just been mediocre in a way. Flash FC's thrashing of Kings United was marred by Captain Jamie Spaniel's red card for retaliation. You retaliated. Today, you lose your captaincy. Good enough. Not only stripped of his captaincy, the gaffer then named him Match Donkey. Jamie will now be a cheerleader for Fash FC's next game and he's off to the London Cheerleading Academy for some lessons. I'm nervous. Actually shitting myself. But, um, I'm going to have a laugh. I think it'll be funny. Because I can't dance at all. Well, I can dance, but not like, like these people can. We've got a very special guest with us today and he's a bit nervous, so you're going to have to give him a big round of applause. We've got Jamie with us today, who is usually a footballer, but today he's going to try his hand at being a cheerleader. So if everybody wants to give him a big round of applause. I can't do this. I can't do it. After struggling through the warm up, things get a lot worse as Jamie receives his kit. Jamie, we're going to start practice now. Um, this is the uniform that you're wearing for tomorrow's performance <laughs> and a set of poms. So, for that, so maybe practice. I'm not wearing the skirt. I'm not wearing the skirt too tomorrow. And the hard work starts now as Jamie has to learn the pre match routine. But it's not going well. Look around and then pick it up. So let's just send again. You've got to make sure you pick it up straight away. One, two, three. Turn it five, six, seven, eight. Come on, Jamie. Good. Five, six, seven, seven, eight. Take one, two, three. Turn it five, six, seven, slide. Clearly, Jamie needs to work on his routine. He's got until tomorrow's match to get it right. Ash. F. Bash FC. After training on Wednesday, the boys voted for the three team members they want to transfer out of the squad. The results will be announced after the match on Sunday. Hi, I'm Sean, and my three nominations are Chris, Buzz, and Tom. Um, I'm probably going to vote Aaron because he's not been given much of a chance on the football pitch um, and hasn't had time to show me how he can play football. Um, Buzz pretty much the same. Um, I've not seen enough of him play football. He was injured at the beginning of the season, which was unfortunate for him. And third to that, so out of two, it's probably it's going to have to be Tom. He's not played, I think, I think he's played half a game. And again, he's only got the gaffer and Mace to blame for that. He's not been given a chance at all. My nominations, the people I'm voting are Chris, Aaron and Tom. My reasons are as follows. We were told, the gaffer told us to go on football ability and character. And that's what I've done. I'm voting for Chris because, like they said, football ability. I've only seen him play one game and then he could have got sent off. Um, Aaron, I'm voting for him because he's not as 
popular as the other guys and I've bonded with the other guys better. And Tom is basically because he hasn't played many games, so I, I don't really know what he looks like playing football. I'm voting Aaron, Buzz and Chris. My reason for voting Aaron is because it's out of him and Tom. And football-wise, I think Tom wants it more than Aaron. And I'm voting for Buzz because <clears throat> I don't feel he's contributing on the pitch as a player and I don't think he's contributing as um, a personality either. So those are my reasons. My three names for nomination are Lacey, uh, Chris and Aaron. My three nominations are um, Tom, Buzz and Lacey. I really feel sorry for Chris, Aaron and Martin, because they're my nominations. Chris, Aaron and Martin. Attitude and discipline are quite high values in my score. So perhaps Martin and Aaron perhaps uh, missed out on, on those reasons. My three nominations are Tom, Buzz and Aaron. Aaron would be the uh, number one competitor for me for the final position. If people are going to vote for me, Aaron's going to be closest. Chris has received 12 votes and Buzz has got 11, which means they are both definitely leaving Fash FC at the end of the week. Lacey and Martin are both safe and will be returning after Christmas. Both Aaron and Tom have nine votes each, with five left to vote who will survive. It's Sunday and Fash FC gather for their second round match morning. against Bedfont Sunday in morning. the Middlesex County Cup. Morning, morning. One player not looking forward to today's game is ex-skipper Jamie Spaniel. As last week's match donkey, he must perform as a cheerleader before the match. But Jamie must realise that he's very influential in the team and he's got to take it. And I don't say take it, I say take it with a smile. Don't just take it and say, ah, oh, I don't give a damn, because you do give a damn. The reason you give a damn is why you're here. If you didn't give a damn, you wouldn't turn up. The cheerleaders have turned up early to help Jamie with some last minute practice. The boys have seen the skirt. I think it'd be more funny when I get it on, so I'm just looking forward to it. I don't care, it's a bit of banter. So if they can do uh, ballet lessons, I can do a two minute dance. <laughs> I'm fucking shitting myself. As the squad warm up, it becomes apparent that one of the transfer nominees has not turned up. Tom Rovery, due a rare start today, has called in sick. Now, Tom's developed some highly contagious skin disorder which forbids him to be around other people. Um, so he can't come today. And it's upsetting because for the first time he's going to get a run out in midfield where he plays. So I feel sorry for the lad. But you've got to just wonder, it just wasn't meant to be for him, was it? You know. He, if it's not the weather stopping him playing, it's skin disorders, you know, or lack of ability. But it's just not meant for him. You know, I, feel, I, feel, I generally feel sorry for the lad, but um, hey-ho. <laughs> but the gaffer finds Tom's absence less amusing. Unless Tom is on his dying deathbed, I would expect to see him here. I mean that. I don't know of anybody, any footballers around the world, unless they got their legs chopped off or their head chopped off, there is nothing which would stop them being here today. So the lads must prepare for this vital cup clash without Tom. See how they get on after the break. Still to come on Fashion News Football Challenge, it's a ding dong battle in the cup. That is the worst I've ever seen. That's cool boy stuff. Flash announces the three to go. Chris. And it's goodbye for some at the Fash FC Christmas party. Um. He's gone down close and you take the opposition. Don't like that one bit. <laughs> My friend, it's for you. Thank you so much. Look outside and see the snowflakes falling down.
Own the night. Need for Speed Underground. EA Games. Eddie and Richie are back with their brand new DVD and video. Bottom Live, Weapons Grade Y Fronts. Britain's funniest slapstick comedy duo at their absolute best. Get Bottom Live, out now on DVD and video. Good night, my love. Your mommy is kneeling beside you. When you've got a cold, Vicks Vapor Rub helps you breathe more easily. So you sleep like a baby. The Scherner Total Grooming System Sensitive has four interchangeable heads. It's a shaver, clipper, and trimmer with a new head for sensitive skin. So now you can create any style you want, whenever you want, even for you sensitive types. The Scherner Total Grooming System Sensitive for whatever style you want. Claire is excited about what Pantene Pro-V has done for her hair. From dull and dry to smooth and shiny. And she loves what it's done for her. Giving her the chance to shine as the winner of the UK-wide Pantene Pro-V award-winning hair contest. And become the new face of Pantene Pro-V. Pantene Pro-V. Smooth and sleek. Your chance to shine. For God's sake. A ghoulishly twisted Christmas surprise. I think we better get out of here. Dead end. That's it, love. Breathe. Right, big push now. And breathe. Oh, you're doing great. Yeah, I can see the head too. Yep, one big push, love. Running low on battery. Pass the cognac, love. Whoa. Are you a UK foodie? Good Food Bites, weekdays at 2 on UK Food. Coming up on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, hard man Jamie dances in a skirt. <laughs> It's a thriller in the cup. Goal! I don't believe it! And it's the final batch of nominations. So he's just showing to me that he's a... Uh, I don't think cut out for men's football. Lads, we know who we're playing. Last week's game is over. Put it behind you. When it's time to praise, I'll praise you. When it's time to give you some stick, I'll give you some stick. Last week, you were all fantastic. But that ends now. Back to reality. Find your space, lads. What got us victory last week is going to get us victory this week. Come on! Find your space. Who are we? 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 As Flash FC run onto the pitch, one player who won't be taking his usual position in midfield is disgraced ex skipper Jamie Spaniel. He must lead a team of cheerleaders in his own special donkey challenge. Ready? In the same way Buzz inspired the boys last week, can Jamie's efforts drive Fash FC to victory once again? The lads kick off in their away strip of white against Bedfont Sunday in the Middlesex County Cup. The winner of this match will be through to the quarterfinals. But how does the gaffer feel about today's opponents? Well, they're a tough team, they're a strong team. Physically, they're a very strong team. Uh, but we're up to it, we're up to it. Yeah, they're tough boys. Boys are taking a little bit to settle because it's a new team again. But, but I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy.
Flash FC get off to an encouraging start. And after a stinging shot from defender Paul Baker, carve out the first opportunity of the match. Jamie Hinchliffe now with the ball in. And he's there! Saved by the goalie. Good start by Adam Bark. And Brenton Amity gets the first effort on goal for Fash FC. The boys continue to push forward and a great run and shot from Sam Diamond results in a rebound and a goal from an unexpected source. And Ricky Dillon has scored for Fash FC. They take the early advantage in this game. Ricky Dillon slots home his first goal of the season and puts Fash FC 1-0 up. But thereafter the game becomes a torrid and scrappy affair. Fash FC loosen their grip and sadly so does goalkeeper and transfer nominee Chris Campbell. Chris Campbell's deflected that one in. That's an absolutely hideous mistake. Chris Campbell 1-1. One, one. So Chris drops a clanger. The gaffer is disgusted and the team's head in at half time one apiece. Assistant manager Mace is not best pleased. That is the worst I've ever seen. That's schoolboy stuff. Absolute schoolboy stuff. We're following the ball. What's wrong with positioning? Why don't you keep in your positions, eh? We're following it like little schoolboys. The front two are working their rocks off. We're at the back there, Sean. I saw you over there, nearly on the right wing. Keep your positions. Keep your place, exactly where we want to be. Keep in there. Keep a. Uh, I can't. I, I, I've lost it because that is absolute diabolical. Absolute rubbish. We should not be even coming in here 1-1. One, one. Yeah. How dare those, they're, they're thugs. They're just thugs from the local blooming common. That's all they are. And there's no way that we should be coming in 1-1. One, one. So as the second half kicks off, the lads know they have to pull up their socks and get back in the game. And almost immediately, they do. Sam Diamond square pass, Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe will shoot, Hinchcliffe! Yes! Jamie Hinchcliffe, so often looking on from the bench, scores his first goal of the season and takes Flash FC 2-1 up. The gaffer is at last pleased. Oh, good skills. Good skills. The boys appear to have turned things around and are on the attack again. Jason Phillips is in, on goal. Phillips, yes, in off the post. Welsh wonder Jason Phillips tucks away his second goal of the season. Fashy's boys go 3-1 up and have the quarter-finals in their sights. But chances to go further ahead are squandered. Flicked onto the back post, oh. Hinchliffe is there and Hinchliffe has a bit of a howler. And such missed chances come back to haunt them when with just four minutes to go Bedfont get a penalty for handball. And Adam Bark, the goalie, steps up for Bedford to take the penalty and scores it. Well, well, well. But Fash FC are still 3-2 up and with only a few seconds to go, surely the boys won't blow it now. Square pass finds Ben Buzzard. Flag Buzzard down. forward now, the flag stays down. Young is through, Young in on goal! I don't believe it! They've equalised in stoppage time. Two and a half minutes of the three have been played. It's level pegging here. What a disaster. 3-3, three, three, we're going to have extra time on our hands now. The gaffer's face says it all. So at the end of 90 minutes, Flash must gather his troops and G them up for extra time. It's 3-3. Three, three. It's 3-3. Three, three. Now, let's have some balls. Let's focus, let's have some balls. Referee's giving it. We know the referee's dodgy, we know what's going on. We expect this. This is now each one of us now to, to think down and to find something stronger to go through. This is very important. It's going to be a battle now. It really is going to be a battle. As the first half of extra time gets underway, chances go begging at both ends of the pitch. Here they come on the attack, Bedford Sunday just wide. Michael Palmer with the effort. Hey, Jamal Perara now knocks the ball in. Diamond! Oh, he's done another one! He saved it again! But as they switch ends after the first 15 minutes, the teams are still locked in stalemate. But soon into the second period, Fash FC carve out another opportunity. Spaniel sets free Sam Diamond. It could be the goal that Sam Diamond has been asking for. He's forced out wide. Bodies in there. Phillips with the shot. Blocked down. In from the left-hand side once again. 
Still in there! Yes! Jamie Hinchliffe has done it for Fash FC! Second goal of the game, 4-3. The boys on the bench go wild and with just 10 minutes to go, all Fash FC have to do is hang on. But they can do better than that. With the Bedfront goalie up front trying to get an equaliser, it's an open goal for Jamie. Jamie Hinchliffe is in and on a hat-trick. Can he finish? Yes, he can! <laughs> two hat-tricks in two games running. Diamond got one last week. Hinchliffe gets one this week. And Jamie Hinchliffe is the hero of the day. Three goals in the County Cup and Fash FC are through to the quarter-finals. 5-3, one minute left in extra time. As the crowd chant for a six, the final whistle blows. After a titanic battle, Fash FC are victorious and set for the quarter-finals in the new year. Made it hard for ourselves, lads. Made it hard for ourselves. Great for television. Great for the fainting heart is as well. But I tell you what, well done, lads. Well done, you're grafted. I told you, well done, congratulations. Well, my throat is gone, my heart is gone, you know what I mean? Lost my hair, well done, lads. Well done. Proud of you, lads. Come a long way. After training on Wednesday, the players voted for who they wanted off the squad. Buzz and Chris are definitely leaving, while Martin and Stephen are safe. With both Tom and Aaron on nine votes, they're battling it out for survival. One of them will be leaving. My three nominations are number one, Chris, number two, Tom, and number three, Buzz. I'm voting for Buzz because I think he rubs certain people in the squad the wrong way. He's had his chances, he hasn't taken them. Also, he can't sing the national anthem, and uh, if you were at the game last week, he's got a small. I'm voting for Tom. I know he hasn't had many games, much like myself. In a way, he's like the white Aaron, but I don't think he brings enough to the personality side of the show. He hasn't really been controversial. He hasn't really been funny. He's just been mediocre in a way. My three nominations for transfer from Fash FC are one, Chris, two, Buzz, and three, Aaron. I'm voting for Aaron because as big a personality as he is, he's not a lacy. I don't go Aaron from Fash FC. Whereas wherever you go, whoever you're with, lacy is lacy from Fash FC. Three people I'll be voting out are Chris, Tom and Buzz. Tom, I don't think he's been given a fair crack of the whip. But um, he's, he's struggled to get in the 11 at all um, this season. I think he's played half a match. Um, and he's not quite, he's not quite going to make it. My nominations are Chris, Buzz and Tom. The reason why I picked Tom is purely to put him out of his misery because you can see that every time he's not being picked, he's getting upset. The three people I'm nominating are Chris, Tom and Buzz. I'm nominating Tom because he proves me time and time again that, how can I put this diplomatically? <laughs> um, Tom doesn't come out in the team socials all the time. One example, paintball, he didn't turn up because the paintballs are gonna hurt him. Hypnosis, he didn't want the hypnotist to mess with his brain. He turned up late for a calendar shoot because he wants to lie in. And then at the end of uh, the show, we saw him cry. He said, ah, oh, I'm not going to be surprised if I'm in the final six. And then he started crying. So he's just showing to me that he's a, I don't think, cut out for men's football. So with Chris and Buzz already off the squad, will it be Tom or Aaron who joins them? Find out when Fash announces the results after the break. Oh, he's gone down close and you take the opposition. Don't like that one bit. <laughs> Over here for God's sake. A ghoulishly twisted Christmas surprise. I think we better get out of here. Dead end.
Come on then, gorgeous. Let's get cracking. Start with this beautiful peat smoked salmon. Really sweet and smooth. Then on a lemon. You've got to have smoked salmon on Christmas Day, haven't you? Little girl, <laughs> you're the one Cheeky. girl for me. Look at this lovely bird. Nice bit of white wine. Start with gravy off. You're as sweet now for baby veg. Smaller, sweeter. Where's my veg gone? Love from the star. Sainsbury's bring you all the ingredients for a simply magical Christmas with everything from the perfect turkey, the sweetest vegetables, the creamiest Stilton, and the fruitiest Christmas pudding. Turkey sandwiches, anyone? Thank you. Your mission is to see that the dangers born of the shadows are not allowed to see the light of day. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Mission impossible. Operation Sermon. Hey, come on Snow White. Let's clean you up before the dwarves get home. Purcell's new tablets now fizz into action on every stain imaginable. Get the latest rap, R&B and hip-hop ringtones for your Nokia. Text URBAN to the number 8181 for a list of the newest tones. So text URBAN to 8181. This is Permission to Rock. The mother of all rock albums. Judas Priest, Motorhead, Van Halen. Plus today's biggest band inspired by these rock idols, The Darkness. The biggest rock anthems of all time. Do you believe in a thing called rock? Permission to Rock. Get it now. At Woolworths this Christmas, David Blaine above the billows. This has been my own personal journey through 44 days of light and darkness. Only $12.99 when bought as part of our buy two, save four pound DVD chart offer. A modern day Houdini's amazing feat of endurance. Is it art or is it a stunt? You decide. Above the below. At Woolworths this Christmas. I actually feel pretty good. With only the biggest names from the circuit, some comics are getting a little desperate to be part of John Thompson's stand-up for comedy. Bring out the club. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 9.30 on Bravo. Coming up on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, the gaffer announces the three to leave Fash FC. Martin. And there are six new guys to vote on the squad. I really feel like it's time you've got somebody in there who can actually play football. With the match over and done with, the squad are gathered to hear the results of the transfer nominations. Martin. Chris. Bye bye. Buzz, oh. Steve, Aaron, and of course Tom, who's ill, or so we're told. Martin, one vote, you're in. Chris, 17 votes, you're out. Buzz, 16 votes, you're out. Steve Lacey, three votes, you're in. The last two, Aaron and Tom, very close. Only three votes in it. The votes were as follows. Aaron, 10 votes. And I've got to tell you, Aaron, you're in. Yes! Oh, no, sorry. Yes! Relief. 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 
The players congratulate the survivors and commiserate with those who will now be leaving the squad, never to return. I mean, it's been one, you know, mill of the turn, as they say, or run of the mill, one of them things there. But at the end of the day, you know, we come and we go. I came to trials, I beat X amount of people, and I've made my day today. So, you know what I mean, all I can do is just relax now and, and chill out for the Christmas. Bars, who was voted out by 16 of the squad, will not be returning in the new year. You know, there's no point in worrying about it. Uh, as it happened, you know, the worst happened, but nothing I could have done about it. It's one of those things. What can I say? Bye bye, bye bye, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> That's it. But it's relief for those who have survived and the troublesome duo Martin and Aaron have a warning for the gaffer. It, relief is the overriding emotion at this point. Well, what, what I will say is watch out for this mouth and this mouth in the year 2004. <laughs> yeah, whoa! Because you know yeah, it's Do you think coming. I'm going to buck up and change my ideas? Fuck that, yeah? Fuck that! Fash must now call Tom Rovery to tell him he's off the squad. Hello Tom. Hello mate, Fash is the gaffer. Yeah, and we've just had the nominees, the nominations for the results. Sorry. Yeah. Now, it was very, very close between Aaron and yourself. I think I'm out. Well, hold on. In actual fact, three votes determined who was out and who was in. Uh -huh. And at the end of the day, obviously, the lads couldn't make the right decision, or it was a hard decision to make for everybody. Yep. But Aaron got ten votes. He's in, which means you're out. Okay, how many votes did I get, boss? Well, he got, uh, th you got 13, he got 10. Okay. Obviously, you won't be here at the Christmas party on tomorrow. Apparently, uh, I'm hoping to make it best that I can, so if I feel any better, I'm going to make an appearance because I want to have my say in front of the cameras. Well, that, yeah, well, of course, you, you have a right to have your say. But and is I want it to explain to the boys why I wasn't there as well, because I'm not sure if they will know. Well, I think, well, lovely. No, that's great. Yeah. Good. Okay, sorry to hear you out, Tom, but we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, yep. All right. Yeah. Bye. Well, that's quite incredible. Here we have a situation where he's actually missed a match, but uh, he's okay for the Christmas party. <laughs> so he'll come down for the show because he wants to have his say and uh, um, get his champagne for the Christmas party. <laughs> that is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> He actually said, I'm not sure, I'm feeling a bit better. And then he said, well, no, I want to have my say. You want to have your say? About what? <laughs> well, it's going to be good. Christmas party is going to be good tomorrow. Don't miss it. Suit and tie, ladies. Having reached the halfway point of the season, <laughs> it's time for Fash and the boys to enjoy some festive celebrations and at Fash FC, that means shiny balls and the inevitable lovely bubbly. Merry Christmas, you too. Merry Christmas. How are you doing? <laughs> there we go. Nice to go to prom, guys. Hello, mate. It's Mini Bomb. <laughs> After being voted off on Sunday, Chris declined an invitation to the Christmas bash. And the lads were wondering whether any of the transfer three will turn up, especially sick note Tom, who has a rash of some sort. I've heard uh, Chris might not be coming tonight, um, and also um, Tom might not be coming because he's got herpes, so he uh, doesn't want to give it to any of us. It's craps, isn't it? Craps, is it? Yeah, craps. All right. Either way, uh, Tom's gone to clinic. Hopefully, uh, four to six days, he'll be cleared up. Much to the surprise of some, Buzz and Tom do turn up, but not everyone wants to give Tom a hug. Oh, God, it's so sweet. Oh, God. I've got a party tomorrow. If you kiss that, you get it. <laughs> when the champagne and canopies are finished, the lads head into the dining room. Oh, looks nice, lads. Looks very nice. The waiting staff are well up to standard. I'm coming here again. <laughs> I'm going to bring the wife here. After the lads enjoy their Christmas nosh, it's time to dish out the presents, with a little help from Fashy's Christmas Santas. After Paul came out last month, Martin found finding him a present a straightforward choice. God blow him up! Tony has given baffled Spaniel a handbag to help him with his on-pitch tantrums. Um, Sunday morning. <laughs> 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 
When the festive giving and sharing is done, Tom is left to reflect on his farewell messages from the lads. Uh, thank fuck you're off. Um, can't you go sooner? Um, please, please stay. Although that was only Paul. I doubt that was on football in the biddy. Um, things like that, to be honest. Piss off, I think, was the general, general consensus. Which, you know, I'm happy to do because they've voted me off, so I'm just going to go. Um, the last few months have been a uh, roller coaster. Full of fun, really. I met a great bunch of guys. Um, I don't regret it for a moment. I'm just sorry it had to end now. With Buzz, you know, I, he's gutted. It's like he's had a kick in the teeth, really. You know, he's really had a punch in the guts. You know, he did. I don't think he definitely didn't want to go, but I think deep down he knew he was going to go. I love you all. That's all you camera crew, all you team, all you squad, all you Bravo, and all you viewers. <laughs> See you. I'll be to a game. I'll see you soon. I bet I'm going to get stopped. Yay! So it's goodbye to Tom, Chris and Buzz. And here are just a few of their best moments. Hello, my name's Tom Rovey. I'm number 251. Do I sing? I dance. It's Bash FC on tour! <laughs> Get out of my gym! I've always been a dynamic cool player. I think I'll be going because the gaffer thinks I'm crap. Whether I stay or whether I go, it's up to the lads. Hi, my name is Chris Campbell. The wonder man in the goal. I do a little bit of this and I do a bit of that. It's party time. It's got to be a penalty. No, look, you're still falling when it was in the back of the net. Nah, that's all I can say at the moment. <laughs> Hi, my name is Buzz. It was like you. Bang, bang. As Brownsell is down here and he's in some considerable agony. Buzz is back. You'll hear Buzz sing one line and you'll know it's Buzz. God save our gracious Queen! God save our Queen! Tom, Chris and Buzz may be gone from Fash FC, but now it's your turn to choose who will be replacing them. We've chosen six of the best standby squad members for you to choose from. The two who receive the most votes from the public will join Fash FC in the new year. Phone and text lines will stay open until midnight on Sunday the 4th of January. So hurry up and get voting. My name is Adi O'Connor, I'm 31 years old and I play up front. I'm a self-employed personal trainer, which means I go around to people's houses, helping them get fit. We go running, we do cycling, we do skipping, we do boxing, all sorts of stuff. On a personal level, I've never ever lacked confidence, which is a really good thing. I think the team needs a bit more physical presence on the pitch. Somebody who's not afraid to, to get stuck in and I can bring ability, ball control, skill, some of the things that are currently missing. You should pick me for Fash FC because deep down inside I really feel like it's time you've got somebody in there who can actually play football. Hello, 
My name is Colin now and I'm 18 years old. I could play on the left wing or on the right wing. I'm the missing link in the team. I could be the connection between the midfield and the attack. I think the main thing that's wrong with the show at the moment is on the pitch. Players aren't playing very well and to be honest a lot of stuff off the pitch but I believe I can bring a lot of flavour to the game. I think Fashion C should choose me because I've got a hell of a lot of skill, I'm young, I'm talented, I've got a hell of a lot to the team and my hunger, desire and passion to win would make me a good player for the team. If you think these skills are hot, wait to see my football skills. Hi, I'm John Paul Becci. Welcome to my restaurant. Welcome to Casa Becci. I'm 24. I'm from Marlebone. At the moment I play striker, I play midfield and I've also played defender. People tend to compare me to Vieri because obviously he plays up front, he's Italian. Um, we're both good in the air, we're quite powerful. But I'd like to play in possibly midfielder up front. Instead of using a back four, we'll have one sweeper two wing backs flying forwards. Okay, you should pick me Fash FC because I'm passionate about my football, it's everything to me. And I also enjoy having fun with the lads and they all look like a good bunch. My name is Mark Pemerton, I'm 23 and I'm a goalkeeper. I'm quite close with my family, there's, um, there's nine of us. I really enjoy socialising, I love partying, love going out. I do like to take care of my appearance and stuff, look after myself. I feel my best qualities as a goalkeeper are my shot stopping and my communication to my defenders. I don't bring a bit of flair, I said a bit more, maybe not arrogance, I think you need to be a bit more flamboyant, a bit more commanding at the back. During the last day of the trials we had a little penny shootout contest and uh, one of the guys from the team, Ricky, actually broke my thumb. So Ricky, if you're watching, there's going to be some hard tackles for you, mate. Hi, my name's Mike, um, I'm number 486. I'm originally from Cornwall. Hey, and I am your uh, typical Cornish lad. I've got hands like his big lobster pots. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm a left-footed player. Uh, I've played, you know, I play centre of the midfield, but I've also played left midfield for a number, number of years. So it, it comes second nature to me. And I think there is a definite gap in the team for a left-sided player or to strengthen the squad. My name's Mike Dingle. You've got to vote for me. Get me on that team. We need a left-sided player, and somebody's got to tell fashion to sort that fucking jacket out. <laughs> My name's Perry Prudence, 23, come from Essex, I'm now uh, currently a qualified personal trainer from the age of 13 I was at West Ham and up until when I was 19 when I left um, Southend, played for my county and I've also done a few football adverts, mainly um, I'm a wide sided player normally. I think I should be picked for the team because um, if uh, Mr Fashion does want to win the league like in the end of the season like he says he does, I'll definitely be another strong link to making that target become reality. Remember the two with the most votes will join Fash FC in 2004. So get calling now. And if you fancy filling that third and final place, we'll be holding an open trial in January where you could get to try out for Fash and possibly join the lads for the rest of the season. If you think you're up to the challenge, log on to the Fash FC homepage on the Bravo website and fill out the online application form. We'll be selecting 50 players to come and attend the trial with the gaffer. So don't miss out on your chance to join Fash FC. Join us again on Sunday night at 8.30 for the big match. Then on Monday at 5.30 and 11.30, it's Fash's Diary. We'll be back next Friday at 10 for a look at some of the best moments of the season so far. See you then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 